Hey, so uh, if you've seen my videos, my previous two uploads were from a fight club that I just joined. Uh, so before I came around, apparently there was this Yokushin guy who joined their group. They're actually like a calisthenics group. And uh, yeah, some Kyokushin guy joined their conditioning and he was like, he proposed the idea of bare knuckle boxing to the body to this group and they had been into it for more than a year since then uh hooked <laughs> get it there's uh these guys they're really good at body shots hooks especially to the kidney and to the liver but uh i'll get into that in a minute so uh most of you who know me personally know that i am not a huge fan of boxing despite being a boxer myself uh, I have been boxing since the age of 12, although that was just uh, street boxing. And uh, I did not begin training at a gym boxing until I was 18. I am now 26 years old. My reasoning is that, uh, you know, look, I have sparred. I have sparred against both amateur and competitive boxers, and I have not found a single one of them to be competent. You know, like, I could just intercept all their punches, okay? Like, I could parry, block, all of it. Of course, you know, there was this one guy, a boxer, who I wasn't able to beat, but simply because he cheated. You know, told me it was going to be uh, a no-contact match, and then all of a sudden it was full contact. So, you know, it's, but that's a whole different story. Like, uh, I used to think that boxing is so crass, so crude, because... Uh, they trade blows a lot, and uh, why would these guys like uh, instead of blocking? Because I, I, you know, you could just why not just like, you know, if uh, somebody throws a hook at you, why not do a karate forearm block, okay, or a, a Wing Chun block at it, or parry it, like a sensible person would. You know why cover like this? Why cover like that? The the damage is gonna just go straight to your brain, even if you put. Your padded glove over here is still gonna rock your head. Why do that? Okay, why put your uh, elbow here if somebody punches you? It's still gonna go to your, you know, to your internal organs. If you stuck your arm out this way, like a sensible martial artist would, you know, you would not absorb any of the damage. In fact, you would hurt the guy who's attacking you. Also, you know, you the ability to stop that attack. While you simultaneously throw a strike of your own, will allow you, you know, to better hit without getting hit. That is a boxing principle. Yet, like, for some reason, boxers are not very good at it. You know, they trade blows a lot. Or at least, you know, they get, uh, you know, they, will, uh, they would land a solid hit on their opponent and get a little hurt themselves because they would let uh, some blows glance off of their uh, heads, their bodies, you know, you can see their, them wincing when that happens, but still, that is trading blows even if the damage is reduced. Another is that like uh, boxers, you know, they seem to have like uh, like Lomachenko trapping, like everybody went gaga over it when the world first discovered it. But, you know, we had been doing that in FMA for so long, and we had been doing that better than them. Like, what's special? I, I love Loma. He's my favorite boxer. Okay? And I'm crazy about him. Like, if I get rich, goddamn, you know, I I'd buy, like, uh, first-class tickets, whatever they're called. Like, front-row tickets to his first fight. You know? But uh, where I'm from, he's really nothing special. We do that all the time. And better than he does. I also always found that weird. Why cover? So why do all these positions? You'll get hurt, can't see your opponent, and you won't be able to hit him. So what is this? It's going to be like a, a game of like, uh, you're just going to alternate. Okay, bam, 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 I'm going to punch me. Okay, then I punch you. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to hope you forget to block. You know, it's stupid. You know, simultaneous defense and attack is something that is sorely lacking in boxing. You know, there is simultaneous slipping and striking. However, in the context of a real fight, uh, slipping could actually lead to you getting taken down, getting pushed, getting shoved into oncoming traffic. Not saying that it's completely impractical, it's just that, like, uh, 
in most self defense situations okay i've been assaulted a lot okay and uh almost all of the time i'm estimating 80 percent of the time you know footwork was impossible uh i had poor footing because the ground was imbalanced or wet and you know it was completely impossible to even high step or retreat you know the last few times i was in a fight one of them okay happened this year it was in a bathroom <laughs> so yeah um boxing relies on footwork you know uh there was this uh video before of uh it was for the olympics of a korean boxer being interviewed he was asked okay this is e even in the uh hajime no ipo anime okay okay so this korean guy was asked okay well, boxing what is boxing about and he said like it's easy to think that boxing is about punches boxing is about the hands no boxing is about the feet boxing is about footwork and angles okay uh i forgot how they said that in the hajime no ipo anime but basically that's what was also being said and uh see here's a little uh thing you can think about okay a boxer and we've seen this okay uh against like uh this happened in china a boxer can beat you with just one arm a boxer cannot beat you with one leg okay if uh what do you call that if uh even manny pacquiao okay broke his leg okay and he he uh he had to like limp okay i'd fight him one-handed i'd take him out is that easy boxing relies on footwork and so needless to say i wasn't really a huge fan of boxing for self-defense and the other problem fists okay when most people think about fighting all right they think uh, okay so two guys shirtless squared off against each other okay i have i wouldn't say military training because i was never in the military but i was trained by military personnel see i just say paramilitary training because where i'm from there was a paramilitary structure it was a paramilitary where we were from okay the scan okay when i think of fighting okay usually i think it's people doing drive by stabbing them with ice picks or hitting them on the top of the head with rocks chairs and when I think of a fair it's two people or more get it out okay plate carrier tactical vest all right here pistol mag here Rifle magazines here. Of course, it's going to be freaking solid. Sometimes with a chin bar on that. A rifle slung here. Okay, with a sling. Pistol here. And uh, right. And, and uh, you see, a fully kitted out. Uh, okay you are not gonna punch that guy you are not punching that dude you're united states uh this is the 10 percent of boxers who get into fist fights break their hands so yeah I'm not, uh a huge fan of relying on punches for uh you know defending yourself but this is something uh this fight club i just joined they fight at night they fight blind basically so uh yeah i had been and uh it's shameful to admit i had been ignorant in my criticism of boxing and uh i recall that i had superhuman reflexes perhaps and uh i never thought for a second that okay not every human being has that so they can't actually do is actually better suited for them for most people at night you know 
so uh, you see, you saw those two vids I uploaded. Uh, you, you see, you see, can see that uh, uh, in both instances I only got hit once. You know, each uh, spa was more than two minutes long, and I could hit. And then we started bare knuckle boxing, uh, body shots only though. Okay, and uh, guess what happened? Now it was my turn to be on a them. Why, you know, I, cause you, when I sparred with one of them, okay, earlier that day, he, he he had a knife, right? I could easily just block it. He couldn't hit me. I could even like snatch it out of his hand. Okay, I, I could even like uh, grab. I, I could catch his slashes. Now, you know, he was hitting me so much, like, I was just blindly, like, just, I resorted to special boxing tactics, like, covering, and, uh, I couldn't hit the guy. I hit him twice. K1 was a foul, because I hit him on the chin. Why? Because I couldn't see him. So I hit him on the chin accidentally. I didn't know that was his chin. I couldn't see him. The other, like, I don't think it phased him. Okay, maybe I hit him a few more times. I'm not sure. Because he wasn't phased, and I was, and I was getting pushed back, knocked back. You know, in our sparring video, I'm talking about the dude I was uh, practicing knife disarming with. Okay, he was the one getting knocked back, now it was me. Why? Why was this happening? Okay, this guy had only had TKD experience, okay? I've sparred with professional boxers, professional Muay Thai fighters, even one from Thailand, okay? And look, I have a very, very, very impression of combat sports for good reason my own sparring experience but now you know these I wouldn't even say amateurs these were like kids playing the because it was dark so yeah boxing is that it allows you to fight against something or someone that's too fast you know like uh I've been playing this video game, Bullet Hell Monday. You, you see, I uploaded a video of it, right? A slight lag to your. Move your finger, the ship is going to follow, but with if maybe a half second delay. No, he had to preemptively like move around to not get it. Uh, in your guess. If you could no longer see what was going on and everything's just a blur to you. You'll be amazed at your own if you it will get you, they call the zone, the flow state. You'll be amazed that you I don't even know all these bullets or in boxing, like how am I dodging all these punches? I don't even see uh, what do you call And uh, there's this lesser-known British boxing guy, uh, that pretty boy guy, uh, Josh Kelly. And you can see that uh, uh, sometimes they even, not only are they not looking at the punches because they have their heads down, or the punches are coming in from above them, okay? Or they have their eyes closed sometimes. They don't actually see those punches, but they are dodging them preemptively. That is boxing. It develops a sixth sense. Your opponent's next move, you know, where the trajectories of his attacks. That's good. Okay, the guesswork, all the guesswork that comes with it for when your eyes are too slow to catch up with the... Most of my life, I always disagree. There's the notion that, says that action is faster than... I was like, what? Like, but, uh... As a gamer, I was a kid, you know, I... Always been in the leaderboards. Okay, I, I was that good. I never like thought for a second. Average martial artist, you know, did have to train their eyes, their hand-eye coordination, to, you know, to be that fast. And boxing is the go-to like, people, especially for situations like that, like video game. Develop my eyes like no amount of like uh, training could make more light enter your eyes. Okay, I can't just like 
you know, do that. And then like all of a sudden there would be more ambient light in my environment, more photons bouncing around. I'd have to shine a flashlight for that to happen. Do I have like, I don't know, a third eye with maybe a... Uh... <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Box dark. Blind even. Or with very poor vision. And uh... The ironic thing is now I understand Why not your palms? Because see, if you don't even see your own opponent, ironically, a fist is safer to use than a palm strike or a slap. See, I like a, sl a slap. If I slap and my uh, my uh, I I my opponent like say like I, I close the gap on them, I enter, and then he enters too. That's too close. And if I slap him with this. With this, it's not gonna hurt him. If I hit him with my fist, if I even scrape him with it, he's gonna get hurt. It's gonna have good strength that will allow for knockout power too. And also a palm strike coming in at the wrong angle. A palm strike is good. If your opponent is slipping and uh, making himself so hard to perceive, that uh, see, scrape your palm. That's the reason, like, uh, the, what do you call that? See, in the U.S., okay, like, uh, there are more, like, uh, call that, knockouts by punches than by palm strikes. Okay, Irish bare knuckle boxers were allowed to palm strike. See? But still, they chose to use their fists for knocking out their opponents. Why? Because, you know, you could come in from more angles because of it. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, boxing, you know, a martial art that develops your sixth sense, you know, that is the best if you have that sixth sense turned on. And uh, a boxing that doesn't care if good or bad eyesight, is all that matters is that you have heart and you have mastery. And... Uh, all well, that matters is that you're willing to engage.